Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In our today's session, we are going to create a purchase order through the interface in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. In our Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud, we have an Excel template. And in the Excel template, we will insert our purchase order details and then we will upload it into the application. So first we have to download the Excel template from the application. So let's move to the application and download it. So this is our application homepage and we have to search the keyword input interface. And uh, this is the page where you can download the template, right? We have the option, download the template, click on that. And you can see one file, one zip file has been downloaded, right? Let's double click and extract it, right? So open it. So this is the inter input interface template. You can see over here and let's go to the purchase order. This is the purchase order folder. And under this folder, we have some Excel file. You can see over here. And let's open the last one, POS purchase order. Let's open it. Right. So we have some fields that already filled and we have to edit it. So, so it's right. So we have the PO numbers. You can define our own. So let's enter the PO number. Right. Uh, we have the LKG zero one zero one two. 0101 right this is our purchase order number right and we have to define the facility code and the company code so we have to take this information from the application so let's take the information let's we have the facility code and the company code so let's copy this one and paste it into our excel file Right, so this is our facility code. And let's enter the company code. So again, go to the application and let's copy the company code, right? So this is the facility code and this is the company code, right? And you can define the vendor code as well as per your requirement. But right now, this is not a mandatory field. And the red mark, you can see over here, these are the mandatory fields in this sheet, right? So this is the create action, and this is the order date. And we have the delivery date, ship date, and the cancel date over here. And you can see the cancel date, and the format is text. So you cannot change the format for this date. It will show the error while uploading this file, right? So let's enter the order date. So I'm going to enter today's date. This is two to this y y y, and this is our date, and this is our month, right? In the same way, we are defining the the delivery date so let's delete it and paste it the same way we are going to define the ship date right so as per the requirement and you can define the order date delivery date ship date and cancel date 
So I'm going to enter the ship cancel date. Right. Let's move to the right and see some more fields, but not a mandatory fields. Right. This is the headings H1. In this PO, we are going to define two different items. Right. And if you want to make some more uh, purchase order, so you can add the purchase order number in the H2 heading. Right. So this is creation and this is the item part A. Let's delete it. We don't have the item part A, right? So we are defining the item alternate code, right? So go to the instance again and go to the item. Search for the item. Refresh it. Right, so we have some code for the item you can see over here. So let's take item like the medium gym bag and small gym bag. So let's copy the item code. Go to the Excel file and let's paste it into the item code. Right. So this is the item alternate code and uh, for two different item. In the, under this purchase order, we are going to define two item, right? So let's scroll down to the right. We have the order item and the unit cost, right? Suppose we are going to define the item. This is 50 and this is 80, right? Cost is 1, 1. And the unit retail, same, 100 and 200. And we don't have defined any details for the right. We have done all the information, right? So we have to save this on the other destination like we are downloads and uh, we have to save this file by POS right and let's add the new right save it let's right let's go to the input interface and uh, we have the option upload file, right? So first we have to use the drop down and we have to select the appropriate interface. So we have the purchase order. You can see this is the purchase order. So we have to select the purchase order from this drop down list and uh, we have to upload the file. So select this file, choose file from this option and under the download, we have to select this one. This is our Excel file. Let's open it and click on this upload. So you can see over here, this is our purchase order. PO purchase order new gets uploaded, right? And the, the message unprocessed, right? So we have to select this one and click on this run interface. We have to perform this task. Click on this run interface. The interface processing started, right? It will take a few seconds. 
loading into the stage table, right? Now let's move to the purchase order and we'll see our purchase order uploaded or not. So search for purchase order. Now click on this refresh icon. And you can see this is our purchase order number LKG1010. And uh, right. And this is our total order quantity. We have defined 80 and 30. 80 and 50 is so total 130, right? And this is order date, delivery date, shift date, and cancel date, right? So this is our purchase order, which was uploaded using the Oracle WMS Cloud Excel template, right? So this is how you can create a purchase order through the interface UI in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.